Now to a, to a celebrity who is using her power for good. Well, you know her from hit roles in shows like 24, Riverdale, but she also has the role of catching child predators. And also she's working to eradicate modern day slavery. She has a foundation and it's called Foundation for a Slavery Free World. And let me bring in now Marisol Nichols joining us now. Marisol, it is so good to have you here with us. And when we say slavery, uh, it conjures up a particular history or a particular image sometime in people's minds. Modern day slavery. Put that in the proper context of what we're talking about here. Sure. Well, I actually believe it was President Obama who coined that phrase, modern day slavery, uh, when he was present, when he was president. But modern day slavery today, according to some studies, we've got over 40 million people enslaved in the world today, whether it's the sex trade, the labor trade or organ trade, um, which is horrific. Mm -hmm. So hence, it's called modern day slavery, because that's what's happening now. Where do times. where where does this or, or for you uh, the work you've been doing for years sure. and years and years and we're going to talk about you've actually been involved in some of these sting operations even but where did this yeah. start for you become uh, something that you really wanted to tackle? Sure, um, I started hearing about it back in 2012, and I was hearing words like child sex trade, mm. and I'm like, what? child brothels i'm like well, what, what do you what do you mean child and i started learning about this and and the global aspects of it and how prolific it was and i think at the time there were about two the estimates were 2.2 .2 or something million children caught up in the child sex trade and nowadays it's over four million so it's already doubled mm. and i i honestly i, I couldn't sleep when i thought about it. And as I learned about it, I dove deeper and deeper and deeper because I believe the more education and the more knowledge I could get about it, the more I could find a way that I could help and find something that I could do about it. You, and so that's sort of how I became involved. And just as a as a mother, as a woman, as a human being, I, I had to do something. Yeah. And you've actually, do I have this right, about uh, or more than half a dozen stings in which you essentially serve as you go undercover or serve as bait. Can you tell me uh, what that is like for you to, I mean, look, you're, sure. you, you might play some roles on TV and might, you might be a cop here or there, but this, this is a, this is real life and real danger and a, a and, and different. What is that like to go through these? Um, it's, it's, to be honest, yeah. some of them are pretty terrifying. Yeah. Some of them I'm, I'm really scared. Yeah. Um, it happened because I, I came across in my travels and meeting with different organizations and, and senators, congressmen, um, the executive branch of the White House, just learning and learning. I came across this organization called Operation Underground Railroad, and it's founded by Tim Ballard, who's former CIA, former Homeland Security. And we ended up teaming up. And over the years, we've we've done numerous ops together. And I use my acting skills to either be pretending to be a victim to lure predators out of hiding that are trying to have sex with nine-year-olds and 12-year-olds or a trafficker or a consumer. Mm. And it's, depending on what's needed, that's the role that I'm playing. And it takes me to very dark places. I can't obviously say too much. We have some cases that are pending. Mm. It takes me to foreign countries. It takes me to different states. It takes me all over. And sometimes it's, it's, you know, I'm pretty, pretty scared. I'm writing a letter to my daughter in case I don't come back trying to explain if something happens. And fortunately, oh. I'm safe and I'm good and I'm here and here we go. Oh, my goodness, Marisol. Um, but one thing on, 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 on an up note here for folks who um, want mm -hmm. to possibly make a donation to your foundation, they can do so and also be helping out a veteran based uh, business. Uh, um, this is this is something cool. I know it's something you're excited to to partner with this organization. They're down in Alabama, right? They are. So it's um, Colin Wayne from Redline Steel, and it's um, everything is made and manufactured in America, and it's by veterans, right? And Colin is an ex-vet who was um, almost lost his life in Afghanistan, and he came back and nursed himself back to health, and he formed this company and has grown it into this huge organization. And I was so honored to to partner with him. And they approached me and asked me if I would make some products and, and partner with them, especially for Veterans Day. 
and donations would go to my foundation, Slavery Free World. Congratulations, that, but really, uh, you should be applauded for the work you're doing. And um, again, we don't pay enough, I say pay enough attention or give enough attention to, um, to this very thing that you have been working and fighting um, for for the past number of years. So Marisol, it is good to have you here. Congrats on your work. We hope to see you down the road, okay? Thank you, and thank you so much for having me. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.